All right, so there's a, there's a few things that you should do as a, as a captain uh, before you take people out on the water, um, especially for charters, but you know, but really it's a good practice for, for anybody, anyone that's going out on the water, especially on a, on a boat um, of a larger size, inboard engines, um, some, some maintenance and things that you can actually do yourself without having to uh, have a mechanic come out. So three things that I always check um, is make sure that the raw water is open and you're, you're actually taking water into the boat for the engines to cool um, and, make, you know, and vice versa, they go out. So you wanna check the seacocks. So open up the seacock, make sure that it's working. If you do have a strainer or basket, make sure the basket's clean. Uh, there's not a bunch of crap in there from last night when you went to the sandbar and you ended up sucking up half the, half the mangroves. Uh, so you want to just make sure that that's clean. You're getting, you're getting water flow, um, you know, and there's no obstructions. So the second thing is oil. So oil is very, very important to an engine. Um, it helps everything move. But you want to make sure that you have enough oil. It's one of the easiest things to do. Pull the dipstick out, check it, uh, verify that you have the, have the correct amount of oil. If not, add some more. Ha keep a little bit on hand if you need to add it. Um, I know that one of my engines burns oil a little bit faster than the other. Um, so I always keep a little bit extra because I know. I know every time I check the oil, it's going to be low. So I go down and make sure I uh, keep it as a routine. But the other thing is, is freshwater coolant. So, you know, on this engine or on this boat, um, I have both a radiator, so freshwater cooling system and raw water cooling system. So if I check the raw water, I should check the fresh. So making sure that the levels are topped off, it's no different than your car. Pull the radiator cap off, look in there, make sure that you can see fluid. Uh, you should see it basically to the rim. Um, if it's not, you're going to need to add a little bit more. Uh, if you're in a pinch, you can add water, but make sure you flush it out and uh, clean it later and uh, put the correct stuff in. So those are just a few simple steps, simple things that you can do to ensure that you know you have a, a more enjoyable experience on the water. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is get somewhere and have problems. Um, I know I've been there. So, uh, so if you get any uh, value from this, please definitely like, hit the subscribe button. We're going to do many more videos, um, but we'll get down to it, and I'll start. Uh, I'll show you what this looks like. So before you ever go out on any any charter, one thing that's always good is to check a few things in the engine room. Uh, you don't have to do it every time, but it's good to get into a habit, especially if you're a, a captain that doesn't use the same boat every time and someone else uses it prior to you. Um, you so these are some good things to check. So I'm gonna look at engine oil, uh, coolant, and then also water flow. So make sure that all three of those things are, are open up. So on a boat this size, that we have, um, you know, here's a Caterpillar, it's a 3208 uh, turbo after cooled. So I'm gonna just really check, so, Check my coolant flu level. That was actually really loose, that cap was. So that might be time to replace. So, yep, stick my finger in. It actually, I have to go pretty far down in order to get fluid. So this one, uh, this needs to be topped off. So I'm not, I'm not actually happy with that. So we're gonna have to top that, uh, top that off and make sure the cap, yeah, it cap's pretty, pretty loose so I think uh, next time I run out to the store I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that no so, which and you can get that any uh, any hardware store advanced auto uh, AutoZone uh, any place that sells radiator caps they're, they're pretty standard so everything I'm gonna look at is the engine oil so this one has a very long dipstick so you can see there's my there's my oil level I don't know if you can see that there's the fill line is it's about an inch short so we'll wipe that off and we're going to just check that one more time there right, i'm going to try to juggle the uh the camera and <laughs> and the stick at one time so 
come back out again try not to splash and make a mess everywhere all right so you can see so the two indicators so that's definitely low so our starboard engine is is definitely low on on some oil so we're going to go ahead and top that off now before we make it out so and then the last thing on this engine I'm going to check is the water. So this is where water, raw water comes into the boat. I want to make sure that that is open and allowing for water. So which normally it is, I run this boat um, only. So um, I never turn them off. So it's one of those things that, um, you know, if you know, you know your boat, if you don't turn it off, you know it's still on. So. All right, let's look at the other radiator. So that, that was much tighter. Almost crusty, if you will. So. Nope, that one's gonna, I'm gonna say that one's low also. So we're gonna, we're gonna probably top off both of these. I don't know if you can see it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's low. It hasn't been raining a little bit, so, but it, uh, it needs a little bit also so we're going to top that off also and then we'll check our engine oil try not to fling it everywhere so there's our oil level which you can see it's about the same as the other engine so it's uh it's definitely uh, on the low end also we'll go ahead and wipe that off and just get another get another check Yep, I'm gonna say we're still we're still on the low end. So about the same as the other one. So at least they're they're both consistent. But we're gonna go ahead and top off top off some oil on each side and then uh, see see how it makes out. So let me uh, adjust this a little bit. Get you guys a better spot to watch. So here is my fill on this engine. So I actually have it on both sides. So of course they're identical engines. Careful not to get any oil anywhere. Have my trusty funnel. Always has dust in it. Always pull all the dust out. And I'll throw that in there. So what I use for engine oil is pretty standard. It's it's the Rotella. Uh, I get this at Costco. Um, I actually just buy in bulk because I go through some oil. <laughs> so we're gonna put in. Let's see. I'm gonna do one quart. Actually, I'll probably do half a gallon, two quarts, because I'm pretty sure that uh, that amount um, it's gonna be needed. That's one. And that's two. Let that settle for a second, and then we'll go ahead and check it again. Yeah, we're still low.
and it's right at the line. So we're going to give it just a little bit more. Which is basically going to take this entire gallon. All right. All right, the other side took a gallon. So I'm gonna assume that this one was just as low. So we're gonna go ahead and use probably this entire gallon. So I'm gonna put most of it in and then we'll do our checks. So. Let's see, that's uh, about one and a half quarts left. So let's let that settle and then we'll go ahead and pull and uh, check the dipstick again. moment of truth it's just at the line so I don't know if you can see that but just at the bottom line I want to go ahead and bring in a little bit more I might not put all of it in but um, we're probably gonna get pretty close Actually, I am going to put all of it in. All right, we'll let that settle. And let's give it a check. Perfect, right at the top. All right, so with that, I've got both, uh, let's see, I did both radiators, check both the oil, oh, and we need to, here's the water down here, make sure we can verify that. So we can verify that this one is open. So we should be good to go. So 